baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloth and placed him in a manger, because there was no guest room around her. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over the flock at night. And the angel of the Lord was out to them, and the glory of But the angel said, Do not be afraid, for I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloth and laying in a manger. Suddenly, a great head, a great company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace to those on whom his favor rests. And for us it has come through the birth, death, and resurrection of Jesus.
All right, pop quiz, Libby. What is redemption? Wait, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. It is what God did for us to save us. Okay, yeah, and what, what do you think redemption is? Who else knows what redemption is? It was the message of the prophet. Show himself to us and set us free. That's right. So this whole play was about redemption, being set free. And I just hope that you take that home with you. Jesus came as Emmanuel, which is God with us. And his mission, uh, the reason he was born, is to set us free. Uh, free from our sin, free from ourself free from uh, eternal life, separated from God. So the whole message of this play was about redemption. And the whole message of the Christmas season is that God came to earth to be with us, to set us free. So if you're in the audience today um, and you have never accepted God's free gift of salvation, you've never been redeemed, this will be a wonderful, wonderful time of year uh, to give your life to Jesus. And it's a very simple process. You simply ask him to forgive you of your sin and you give your life over to him, trusting that he will lead you where you should go. So, children, thank you so much for that beautiful message. You took us from the Old Testament prophets all the way to Jesus, so that was an amazing accomplishment on your part. And, uh, and you did it in under 30 minutes. Okay, whatever. <laughs> that was a shot at me. All right, I get it. <laughs> much better. No, 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 don't clap for that. Oh, those kneels, I tell you. Anyway, <laughs> all right. Well, I hope you enjoyed the service today. Uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to say a prayer. And after our prayer, we're going to all stand and uh, sing our, our call to worship one more time.